Good morning, everyone. What a wonderful Wednesday. So we are at the last day of the month, September 30th. And what an incredible month we have been having. Um, I, I think we mentioned last week that we had two of our largest sales days in the company's history. And the month had just continued to, to grow. And this is the biggest month in the company's history, which is so exciting. And it's all thanks to you guys and all the hard work that you've done. Um, what, what amazing accomplishment. And uh, we should be celebrating. We're also coming up on um, next month is uh, the two-year mark of when we pre-launched the U.S. and uh, in November is going to be the three-year mark of when we launched uh, Mexico. So we have some awesome milestones that we're coming up on and, and we can't wait to start uh, celebrating these and, and celebrating with you guys and the huge accomplishments that you guys have done. So at this time, I'm going to turn some time over to Stu and uh, he's going to talk about uh, ending the month strong. Thank you, Angie. But more importantly, thank you everyone who's on this call and who are not on this call that's in your team. Because as Angie pointed out, it's the best month that our company has. In fact, um, Japan also had their, their best month um, um, up to date and they are on fire. I haven't been able to go to Japan since March because of COVID, um, but I do weekly videos for them. And each and every week, I tell them about you, about the U.S. distributors, the U.S. leaders, whether it's testimonials or what I learned from the nightly calls to get them motivated. And for some reason, by me not being there, actually, it's even better because they're growing. But it's because of your experience and your testimonials that's firing them up. So I want to just reiterate what Angie's saying is this our best month. And we still have one more day, so keep going, keep moving forward. Um, this has been the best month by company history, but I also want to share something very personal. Um, where I'm from in Laie, um, you know, living where Kahuku High School is known for its football team and for its football program. My neighbor was offered a scholarship to the University of Utah, and my nephew was also offered a scholarship to the University of Utah. So my nephew will be going in January. He'll graduate early from high school and join the University of Utah football team. And my neighbor um, will be going on his church mission for two years. And when he comes back, then he's gonna be joining the football team as well. But what happened this week was my other nephew from Japan <clears throat> was actually offered a scholarship to play basketball at the University of Utah, which is really rare um, for someone on our side of the island because Hawaii in general is not known for basketball. So from a personal standpoint, this month has been um, unbelievable. And it made me um, think of this um, quote that I heard before, learn from doers because you weren't born a winner or a loser. You were born a chooser. So we all get to choose things in life. Um, you know, whether it's going to the University of Utah over BYU, of course, it's a no brainer. You always choose Utah over BYU. Um, but you learn from doers. And everyone on this, call, on this call is leaders. You guys are the ones that are training and you're the doers that you guys get to train people to do how to do actives, to do network marketing the right way. And there's a lot of people like myself and people in your group that are choosing to be like you. Therefore, they'll end up being winners. So I just want to have you guys just continue to be who you are. Be the doers of actives. Be the leaders of actives. And we'll all be winners because of you. So continue to work hard, not only for this last day this month, but let's finish up the, the year. Um, we've got three more months in the year. Let's make it the best three months ever in the company history as we approach milestones, as Angie pointed out, in each of our markets. So I want to congratulate you all and continue to be the doers of actives. Back to you, Angie. Thank you, Stu. I love that. Yes, let's continue to be the doers of actives. That is amazing. 
Um, so as you guys know, it, we have talked about month end. So in our call center, we do have a lot of calls coming in and I will, I will tell you right now, our wait times are a little bit longer than usual. So I want to encourage you, if you have something that needs to be taken care of, you can go ahead and contact us by email that, and that is contact at actives.com. We'll be having some people that are not on the phones, checking the email on a regular basis so that we can make sure we get things taken care of for you. So go ahead and email us. We also have a chat feature on our website and we'll also have a couple of people that are not on the phones checking the chat so that we can make sure that we're answering questions and get you guys taken care of for the end of the month. For the end of the month, um, we are extending our call center hours. So if you do need to call in to take care of something, the call center is going to be open until 7 p.m. Pacific, or sorry, 7 p.m. Mountain Time, so 6 p.m. Pacific Time today. So we do have extended call center hours, um, again, to help you end the month strong and get you guys taken care of. So um, I'm now gonna turn the time over to Dale and he is going to talk about a cool event that we have coming up in October. Awesome, thanks Angie. How's everyone doing? If you're feeling awesome, Show me some applause in sign language, because I can't hear from y'all at once. Well, I'm really excited to be talking about our medical forum. It's happening October 16th, mark your calendars. Uh, Angie, one more time, what's the time on that? Is that the 7 p.m.? The 7 p.m. Correct, okay, and that'll go for an hour. Uh, we have four awesome speakers coming, and we have, first off, Dr. Joseph Maroon, he's the head neurologist for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He's written over 280 peer-reviewed articles, and he's on the advisory board for Actives. Uh, Jeff Bost is also part of the advisory board. He's a clinical instructor and clinical assistant professor, and he's all about nutrition. So if you have questions about nutrition and how that applies to Actives, where our supplements are concerned, keep those in mind, because these forums are designed to help people answer their questions about the science, about the medical terminology, about how it all works together. Uh, the other two speakers that we have, we have Dr. Larry Martin, a distributor actually here at Actives with a deep knowledge of our products and procedures. So you can pick his brain for whatever kind of questions that you have for that. We also have Maria Gonzalez. She's a pharmacist. She speaks English and Spanish and she's a distributor as well. She's growing her business in Mexico and in the United States. Where this, this forum, is designed for people to submit their questions. We want you guys to send them on an email and the address that you're looking for on that is medicalforum at actives.com. Uh, one more time, that's just medicalforum at actives.com. All lowercase, no spaces, hyphens, or anything, just one word. And you know, I, I look forward to, to getting to pick the brains of these people personally, where well, I, I am newer to the company, so I'm kind of learning as I go as I write copy, as I ask questions, as I create newsletters and things like that for actives. But being able to sit down with the people that have researched and created what actives is, it is a ton of fun. I don't know, it's for me, I'm, I'm, I'm a nerdy kind of a person anyway, so I love the science, but they don't talk about it from just the pure science aspect. They're very conversational, they're a lot of fun to talk with. So get your questions ready and send them to medicalforum at actives.com. Thanks, Angie. Thank you, Dale. So um, yes, make sure you get your uh, questions in, like you said, to medicalformactives.com. This is a great opportunity to be able to hear from um, Dr. Maroon and Jeff Bost and Dr. Larry Martin and, and Maria Gonzalez. Um, there's no better time than to be able to get your questions answered from um, our advisory board members and from also uh, our experts in the field. So make sure you get your questions in. This is gonna be a great event. Like he said, an hour long on October uh, 16th. So that is a Friday starting at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. The other event that we have coming up in October is our active school. So we're gonna go back to back this uh, next month. We're gonna go medical forum on the 16th and then active school on the 17th. So the active school uh, is a great way to learn how to build your business. You're gonna hear from some of our top leaders in the industry, and they're gonna to talk to you about what they have done to be successful. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that uh, you mark your calendars for the 16th and 17th, and uh, be ready to learn from our doctors and scientists, but also from our top leaders. So uh, you can start putting in practice what they've done to be successful, and you can, uh, 
and imply that and put that into your business so that you can start growing your business um, some more as well. So uh, we've had some great presenters presenters on the Spanish side. Noemi's been a presenter. Christina's been a presenter. They've done a fabulous job in uh, teaching their team and, and teaching actually all of the Spanish speaking active distributors how to grow their business. And this is something we want to incorporate on the English side. So we're going to have medical forum on the 16th to schools on the 17th so make sure you mark your calendars and uh, you don't want to miss it and it's free so there's no reason not to attend we're not going to be charging for these events and, and we're just going to make sure that you get the knowledge that you need to talk about the products and to talk about the business um, also as since we're talking about meetings um, tonight we have Dean Haymore so we have our uh, weekly meetings every Monday Wednesday and Friday so tonight Dean is going to be doing the opportunity presentation um, so make sure you join in it's about uh, 45 minutes long and Dean does a wonderful job of, of uh, uh, talking about the opportunity. So tune in tonight at same number, the 477-444-4321. Um, and it's going to be at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. So make sure to join in tonight and listen to Dean give the opportunity presentation. All right. Okay. So at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Ryan Mumford and he's going to talk about uh, a little bit more about September and then also uh, the promotions and stuff that we have going on. So Ryan Mumford, it's all yours. Awesome. Thank you so much, Angie. So I am so inspired by those words, Stu. I love that, that, that we can do, we can change. I love that idea of who we are as actives. So Stuart, thank you so much for your, for your words and what you shared. Um, like everybody else said, September has been an awesome month and we are growing, but what really makes an impact to me is what the rank changes have been for you, the distributors. As I see that checks are going up, that lives are being changed and all of the work that you've been working towards for months and months is coming to fruition, right? Like change is happening. You are part of that wave and rank advancements are happening. And one of the really neat things is that I was looking at all the ranks and where everybody was a few days ago to kind of see, okay, we've got one last week. Where is everybody? And I looked through the list and all of these top leaders had already hit their rank and were growing from last month with days left in the month. And it just made me so excited because that means they're spending these last days helping their downlines grow, helping them hit their ranks, continuing to grow, lives are being changed. And really September is just an incredible month. So I hope that you help convey that to your teams, that they don't miss out on this wave, they don't miss out on what's happening. One of the things that we did in September that's really made an impact for a lot of medium and low level distributors was the reorder promo. So $30,000 worth of reorder promo has been um, paid out, given out as people have reordered. So these are people that enrolled in the last three months and that they placed a hundred dollar order. So that is amazing news, but there are still thousands of other people who are eligible for that reorder, who are eligible to receive that payout, who haven't yet ordered. So we need to make sure that we go through everyone in our group today, before the end of the month, and get that money on the table. I was looking at the US alone, and you guys can go through and find 534 additional people that are eligible to receive that $30 payout. So that's $16,020 that could be paid out in the US alone right now if they could just go in and place that $100 order. So that's a 30% bonus on top of the 10% they're already getting. That's a 40% payout on that reorder. So go through, make sure everyone in your group has reordered, do whatever you can to close that out. Um, it's, it ends this month, right? Like this, this isn't continuing, this isn't going on, it ends. I, you have to get through and capture this before you miss it. So um, follow Stuart's advice. You can act now to make that change and get that payout for everyone in your group. So I just wanna make sure everybody's running for that. Okay, the other secret is that the 500 Club is running right now and the, the close of that 90 day period is in October. So this next month. So every enrollment for in October, September and, and August, all those three months, 
those combine to get you your 500 club winnings. So look at everybody in your group. Let's talk about the 500 club. We should be talking about that every single meeting, every single conversation, because people are running for it and they're all getting close to closing it out, right? So um, uh, I was a runner in high school. It's, it's one of the things that I enjoyed doing and getting there. And I think when you're running a mile, um, you've got four laps around the track, right? And so at the end of your third lap, all of that work that you've done, all of that energy you've spent, um, that's, that's already done, that's on the pavement, and you only have one left to go. Well, if you slow down right then, then you're never gonna finish the mile, right? You're not gonna place. It doesn't matter how hard you worked for the last three laps, you've got one lap left, and you've got to sprint right then until the end. So, um, you know, Stuart talked about basketball and how his nephew just got a basketball scholarship. This is the fourth quarter of the 500 club, right? You have four weeks left. Everybody in your group should be closing hard to earn that $500. And then for everyone they've enrolled, everything they're talking about, they can talk about how they earned the 500 club and what they did. So it's the fourth quarter, make sure everybody on the 500 club is running to close that out. So my, my two thoughts are, don't miss out with money on the table on that reorder promo, okay? So find everyone in your group, Get that reorder in. It's 100, 100 PV. That's a 40% payout. Make sure that closes today. And then what's really pushed to close out the 500 club that everyone in your group. I would love to hear stories about whole teams qualifying for the 500 club because it's possible. Um, anyhow, we've got, we've got people that have um, more than enrolled 20 people in this, in this promo period and are running and growing and still enrolling um it's doable and everybody can qualify so let's run for this 500 club and finish it off strong um i am so thankful to see the change that's happening in september i'm so excited for you so congratulations finish strong and let's do this uh thank you so much i'm turning it back to angie all right, thank you, Ryan, this is great. So we have a lot of things, a lot of great things going on. Um, Hunter heard us talking and uh, he couldn't miss out on joining in the meeting. So he wanted to <laughs> jump up and say hi to everyone. A lot of great things going on um, from our Monday, win or yeah, Monday Wednesday, Friday uh, meetings to our active schools and our medical forum. We have our 500 club, we have our reorder promotion. I'm sure we're gonna have something exciting to announce in October, um, but make sure you are being the doers of actives like Stu said and continue running and closing the month strong. Um, uh, Paige and Guild reminded me that I never announced the time for the uh, active school on 17th. So it's gonna be at 9 a.m. Mountain, so 8 a.m. Pacific time and we're gonna go for two hours. So it's gonna be 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Um, so make sure, you, again, you mark your calendars. You don't wanna miss it, it is free. And um, what I think is cool is what I've seen a lot of the groups do is they've been rebooting their teams. And it's absolutely incredible to see that these reboots have really started to ignite their teams and they are on fire. I know Noemi did a reboot a couple of months ago where she was having her um, all of her leaders and her team members join in on a call, I think it was at like 7 a.m. or 6 a.m., it was something really early, and uh, <laughs> seven, and uh, so they would jump on for 15 minutes and just be motivated for the day to uh, make sure they were out there building their business, and, and uh, Noemi hit our highest rank, um, A, your A13, yeah, A13, um, and she did this by rebooting her team. And I know that uh, Paige has been going through a reboot of her team, and she's having her team go through and uh, create vision boards and, and go through different steps so that her team um, is, is starting to get the fire. And I've seen new people added to her WhatsApp group, which is absolutely incredible, and it's fun to watch uh, her team grow. And Trish has done, Trish and Eric, they did a reboot of their team as well. And uh, what they did is they, uh, had each of their members watch inspirational videos for 21 days and it's amazing the feeling that you get uh, if you stick to it and you actually watch those inspirational videos for the 21 days how your mindset changes and you're just laser focused on what you need to accomplish and what you need to build 
So I suggest that you guys all keep um, doing these reboots and keep, keep at it. You're gonna have days that you're frustrated and you're gonna have days that you don't wanna keep going, but you're gonna have those amazing days. And those are the days I want you to remember. It's the days you have successes and the days that you see the growth. And we just had Ryan Thompson join. So um, I am gonna turn some time over to him and let him finish this call. So Ryan Thompson. Great. Thank you, Angie. I appreciate it. Good morning, everybody. I'm sorry that I'm late. Um, it's great to see all of you. I was um, in a Zoom that's still going on with the doctors who are going to be uh, doing the first Spanish medical forum tomorrow night with Dr. Hernandez and then a couple of distributors who are healthcare practitioners. And so for any of you that have Spanish speakers tomorrow night, um, you can you can check out, you can look, go to Actus Calendar, get the details for the time and the, and, and the place. But there will be uh, a lot of people on that Zoom. Um, I'm, I'm really hoping we have 1,000 people. We might have 600, 700. Anyways, any number will be great, but it's going to be a big number. So um, that's why I'm late. Um, I had a root canal yesterday, and I'm just telling you that because um, yesterday afternoon I did uh, two Zooms after my root canal, and only the left part of my face was moving. And I didn't think people could tell, but they could tell because I didn't realize that they were zooming in on my face. Um, but um, for those of you that were aware of that, I'm fine, I'm better. I still have a massive infection on the right side of my face um, that is in the process of clearing out. And, um, and uh, I had a, a, a not very enjoyable weekend uh, when my nerve uh, got exposed. And so I put Optimen to the test though. And um, with the rotation of, you know, the horrible uh, ibuprofen and, and Tylenol, which is what I had to do to kind of control the pain, it was great to have Link and, and Optiment to really uh, manage my gut. Um, and, and today, that's all I'm using is, is Optiment. This morning, talking to Angie, I told her I felt like I, I had been, no, I was talking to Francisco. Um, and um, I told him, I feel like I've just been punched in the face over and over again on the, on the right side of my face. So it's very sore, um, but I, I've increased my, my optimum intake. And I tell you what, I am so glad to have something that doesn't hurt my gut, that doesn't hurt my stomach lining, that doesn't you know, hurt my liver, um, and that, that really actually reduces the inflammation and manages the pain and it's doing its job. So I am, uh, <laughs> I, I'm directly benefiting from, from, from our trifecta and from specifically from Optimum this morning. Um, I wanted to share with you real quick and I, and I don't wanna belabor this, uh, you know, anything that's already been shared um, this morning, but I'm excited. Today's the last day of the month. We've had a, a real banner month of September. It's a short month, it ends today. Um, and uh, it is, is exciting. If you guys are interested, I'd like to share with you kind of where we're doing, and, and, and Ryan or, or Angie may have already shared this with you. Did you share them where we're at today, Angie or Ryan? No? Okay. You guys would like to, are you interested in knowing how we're doing as a company? Okay, I'll share it with you. So uh, I'm going to give you real quick, I do this on, on the Spanish Zooms because it, it, it's, it, it's nice to know that we're in the right place at the right time, and when I mean the right place, I mean the right company, right? And the right time, you could join us today or someone could join us two years from now or five years from now or 10 years from now. And I think it'd be, it'd look different. But right now we're in a real growth phase of our company. So Mexico's up 36% today. Peru's up 42, uh, just almost 43%. Japan has really, really gotten gotten off the bench and gotten in the game. They're up over 91% today, month over month. This compares today's date with the same date of the month last month. So if you recall August, we were also closing. And so it's incredible to see numbers up that high. U.S., we're at the U.S. U.S. is up all, about 31% from where we were last month, which is absolutely tremendous. It's incredible. Very, very, very happy with these numbers. The reason why I, I like to talk to look at those numbers, I know that each individual organization is different. Not everyone is the same. Some groups are, you know, double and triple where they were last month, and some, you know, are not up 30%. But why that's important is because a lot of times in this industry, right, not just nutrition, but network marketing, companies that are new, that are, that are startups, 
there's a lot of talk about momentum. We talk about critical mass. We talk about the economic S curve. We, you know, people like to, you know, tell stories about, you know, famous business uh, teachers and, and, you know, they talked about, you know, all, all of this theory, which is predicated on multiple vari variables. It's never as simple as it sounds. But why I like it also, and why I do like talking about it, is I've been through momentum a few times in my life at a company, at companies, plural. And, and uh, I've experienced great growth and getting to the end or getting to a period where you say, wow, we did almost $50 million our first year, right? That was in 2007, 43 million. Or we hit 200 million in about four years. Or, uh, you know, a company where Angie and I worked at, you know, years ago, half, about half a million, 465 million in about six years. Um, I was at New Skin uh, for eight years when we hit a million, a billion dollars. And the snowball effect or momentum, you rarely are aware that you're going through it when it's happening. You just aren't. Why? Because you're focused on the basics. You're focused on helping people qualify for the 500 club. You're helping people qualify for A3 or A4 or A2, right? You're focused on taking, you know, uh, developing that daily plan of action and, and not letting a day pass without taking action. You're focused on, on really these types of things, on what is your goal for this month? on what is your goal for this week, on what, you know, am I gonna go to bed tonight without giving a presentation? I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll keep going. Those are the things that people focus on day in and day out. And then, and, and momentum is often realized in hindsight, right? Hindsight's always 20%, 20, it's always 20, 20. You look back, you say, wow, look at my business, right? I'm, I'm now an A10 and I was an A4, you know, five months ago. But what's going on? This is great. My business is growing. And then another half a year will go by. And you say, wow, I'm an A12 or I'm knocking on the door of A12. And then, and, and then 12 months will go by and you say, I can't believe this. I'm so excited. I've always dreamt of this. I didn't think it could happen to me, but I'm only 2000 points short of A16. And when you look back, you say to yourself, okay, 36 months have gone by, right? Or 24 months or you know, whatever the number of years, 48 months. But but you look at yourself and you say, how did I get here? And, and, and you hear stories about growing 20% month over month. And what we, we fail to see sometimes is these are really, really great growth months, right? When the company is growing, it means there's a lot of organizations that are doing what I just described, right? But if you guys, uh, if we think about it for a second, we, we think of life in terms of hindsight. We rarely think of in terms of foresight, right? Because we we can't predict the future. We can only focus on what we're doing. But the stick of the, the, the how we measure that is always hindsight. It's always in the past. We always look back and say, "This is what I did. This is when I hit that rank. This is when I hit that rank. This is when I met this person. This is when I met that guy. This is when I when this is when 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 I helped you know you know my my you know three of my personals qualify for the 500 club." We remember those specific data points, right? And the specific stories, it's always hindsight. But I wanna share those numbers with you so that you can kind of step back for a second and take on that, that macro perspective and look at the company as, and just ask yourself, are we at the right place at the right time? That's the question, right? Um, I would say that we are at the right place at the right time. We're at the right place because there's nobody that, that currently is and there's no one out there that has what we have, right? And I mean the scientific technology that make up this, the, the foundation of our company. There's no other, there, there is no other company that is making inroads currently into the omni-channel uh, 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 business model. We've got some great things brewing right now. So the right place, you know, it, it's a function of, of, of what's happening in that company. The right place, would, the wrong place would probably be a company that might be 10 years old or 20 years old or 50 years old that hasn't grown for several years, that hasn't rank advanced any new high ranks in a very long time. I would scratch my head and be concerned if I was at a company like that, thinking that, well, someday this will, you know, this will turn around and we'll go into a second phase of momentum. That stuff always worries me, right? 
um, because I, I've been in this industry too long to, to see companies turn around and start growing that have, that have lost that momentum. So we are in the right place. We're absolutely in the right place. We are on a streak, a growth streak, month after month after month after month after month right now. No one has what we have. And it's not to beat our chest, it's just to be real practical and very realistic about this and answer the question, are we in the right place? Now, the right time is, is a function of, well, did we get here late to the game? Are we joining this company 12 years into, into their tenure, 11 years into their tenure, 20 years into their tenure, 50 years into their tenure? Now, there's some good companies out there. There's some great companies with a lot of money, but you've got to always say, are they growing? Are the people that are joining those company, are they growing? Are they able to succeed? Because when the sun sets on an opportunity, it usually is because everyone's already heard about it, right? And the people that, have, that, that were interested already joined, right? And it's real hard to find people that have never heard about that company. So here at Actives, I can tell you, you can walk outside today in any city of any state, and you're gonna, and every person you talk to, they've never heard of Actives. They will have never heard of Actives. They will also never heard, heard of our products, of Optimend, of Link, of Genomics, of Amora. The science of epigenetics will be something new to their ears. So this is a brand new, fresh message and story. We're at the, at, at the cutting edge of what's relevant in healthcare and wellness. So that, for me, is how I measure whether I'm in the right place, right, at the right time. So all of you are in the right place at the right time. And I say this a lot, that, you know, betting on yourself, you really have nothing to lose and everything to gain. What I mean by that is by really digging deep and saying, okay, I'm going to give this my best college try. What are you going to lose by doing that? Nothing, right? You have everything to gain. What you have to lose is um, maybe some sharp edges will get buffered off, right? Maybe you'll learn something about yourself, right? Like if they're in your game. Maybe you'll lose some, some, some pride. Maybe you'll lose some ego. But what you pick up, right, is, is that, that best version of, of who you are. So, so don't be afraid to push yourself outside your comfort zone, to push through that fear, and really bet on yourself. Because, again, I shared those numbers with you. Growing 30%, right now we're over 30% a month in the U.S. Being at the right place at the right time is how you do it, right? If you want to go somewhere, you go with the people that are on that train moving, right? Don't wait till the train has stopped and then, you know, a couple of years later say, okay, I'm going to really try and give it a go. No, you, you got it. You're, you're, you're part of that first graduating class of leaders. So this is the time to move with, with the group, with the group. Um, I love these numbers because, you know, they compound, it, it's compounded growth. Um, if we're growing 20% a month, we're essentially doubling our size every four months, not five months, every four months because of its compounded growth. So, you know, I've been sharing these numbers now for several months, and I want you all to realize that, that this is what momentum feels like. It, it's, it's almost innocuous. You can almost not tell, but you do hear, oh, there's rank advancements going on there. There's rank, rank advancements going on here. There's those people rank advancing. There's these, these people rank advancing. You start hearing that happening all around you, right? Again, hindsight's always 20-20. You look back and the company says, hey, we're hitting $50 million this year. We're hitting $100 million. Or we're hitting $200 million. Or we're hitting half a billion dollars. We're hitting a billion dollars. And a lot of people, and I'll tell you, a lot of people back in I think it was 2000, 1999, when I was at New Skin, when we hit a billion dollars. When we hit a billion dollars, there were a lot of people who were surprised and said, wow, I didn't know that. I'm just getting started, right? So it'll, it'll sneak up on you. So make sure you're locking arms with everybody, with as many people as you can, that you're making as much noise as you can, that you're not working in isolation of others, that you're working together as a team because, you know, to, to really travel with the group, right? To summit with the group, it means that you are communicating with them, right? And the people that make it to the top do it as a team. They never, ever do it on their own. So anyway, that's my message I wanted to share with you. It's uh, just realizing that you are in the right place at the right time. Our numbers uh, are evidence of that, and it's incredibly exciting. 
um, it's really exciting for me to see how small this Zoom is right now. I know there's a ton of people that can't get on it, but you'll look back and you'll remember the day when, wow, remember the Wednesday morning Zooms when there were 30 people on that? Wow, that, that, that's incredible. I know I've spent many, many uh, conversations, many conversations were spent um, with uh, me and other members of, of, of our corporate team here with people like Tricia Albertson, who's on here, looking back at other companies where we used to reminisce. Remember when our Monday morning call only had 10 people on it or 15 people on it? These, these moments are fleeting, right? Because before you know it, you blink and they're bigger and they never, it'll never be this small again, right? So it's exciting to be here at the right time at the right place with all of you. With that, Angel, I'll turn the time back to you. Have a great close of the month, by the way. Today's an important day. I know that there's a lot of people just sitting right there on that bubble, sitting right there, just within 10% of getting their next rank. Make sure you, you help reach, reach out to your team members and do that. And some of you have multiple business centers. We talked about this um, on today's Wednesday. We talked about this on Monday on a boot camp call. But look at your business centers. Many of them are very close to rank advancing. And we leave a lot of money on the table by not qualifying business centers, right? That, that could easily be qualified maybe with $50 or $100 or helping one PC join, right? So make sure that you're not leaving money on the table by not qualifying those business centers. That's just a tip tip of the week, right? So that you can you can close well and, and take advantage of, of what's on the table. So now I will turn the time back to you, Angie. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, what a great message. And yes, we are in the right place at the right time. We are the active stewards. We have great things going for us. I want you all to have a wonderful Wednesday. Have a great close of the month. And uh, like Ryan said, make sure we're not leaving money on the table. Reach out to your people. Make sure they're reordering. And uh, take a look at your businesses and your people's businesses. And make sure they're hitting those ranks so that uh, they're, they're getting that money that they deserve. Um, have a wonderful Wednesday. And we will see you guys next week. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Angie. Have a great day.